What's up everyone? It's me, your girl Key, and welcome to Try It Tuesdays with the Key Exposure. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out this black bone wine for you. I actually have three bottles. I can't hold all three, but I have these bottles and another one that I'm going to be trying for you. Um, this is from the wine dispensary called shoe crazy but before we do the wine tasting of course i have to tell you a little bit about this a black moon business um i actually picked these three bottles up from my local sam's club if you watched my last video um i did kind of like a mini shop with me vlog i went to different local stores i went to sam's ulta and target and just picked up some different black owned products and brought you guys along with me and that's where I got these bottle of wines from. So just to quickly tell you a little bit about Shoe Crazy, this is a mother and daughter owned business. And the story behind how this business came about is so inspiring. I mean, you go to their website and their about page just tells you how this mother went from living in poverty, her and her daughter got into this terrible wreck, and you know, they had to go through physical therapy, but you know, instead of, giving up and letting depression consume her she turned her hobby of wine making into a lifestyle and that's how shoe crazy came about and in sam's club they only had these three flavors that i'm going to go over today but on their website they had so many more different flavors that i'm actually interested to try i personally feel like these bottles were not expensive at all i didn't pay any more than 11 dollars per bottle but I did notice that on the website the bottles of wine are a little bit more expensive I don't know if that kind of just covers like shipping and handling or you know website fee I don't know but the same bottles of wine that I bought from Sam's for around ten dollars online they were maybe like $12.99 $14.99 and I do want to go ahead and say this wine collection or at least from these three bottles that I have this is a sweet wine collection. So if you like more of a dry, bitter wine, this may not be the brand for you, but I love a sweet wine. I, I don't mind a sweet wine at all. <laughs> this is actually my second time getting these bottles of wine. But anyways, let's get right into the tasting portion of this video. So the first one I'm going to try is the Shoe Crazy Sweet Bella wine. This is a sweet red wine with chocolate and strawberry notes. And when I first read that, I was like, hmm, that sounds very interesting. Um, I was super excited to try it out. My hair is on this bottle. <laughs> um, I was super excited to try it out. I was intrigued by the flavor description. And from what I remember, it was super good. But it's been a couple of weeks since I first got it, so I'm gonna taste it for you guys and just, just you know, bring up that that memory of my first go round. All right, I feel like that's 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 taste worthy right there. So I will say, red wines are usually the more bitter dry wines and from smelling this wine it kind of seems like it's not going to be as sweet as it actually is like i feel like from what i remember i smelled it and thought it was going to be more on the bitter side but then when i tasted it i was like oh wow yeah but yeah it just smells like a red wine Okay, so it, I feel like it has like a, a hint of dry to it, but it's like you really wouldn't know unless you've had dry wine for real, I feel like. Um, super good, goes down so easy. You know, the flavoring said it's like strawberry with hints of chocolate, but I don't know if I taste like any chocolate. I mean... Yeah, I feel like I mostly just taste strawberry. So if you're kind of hesitant, because you know some people don't like the whole chocolate thing, if you're hesitant about that, I don't really taste chocolate. Kind of just tastes like strawberry to me. But 
you know. All right, so the next bottle I'm going to open up is the Sweet Harmony Sweet White Wine. This one came with this little thing on the top. So apparently this is a Riesling with the sweet apple flavor, which um is actually surprising because I feel like I've had a Riesling before and I hated it. Uh, I didn't know this was Riesling last time that I bought it and I hope I'm saying that right. I know it's either Riesling or Riesling, but I think it's Riesling, so. <laughs> but yeah, I had um, Black Girl Magic. They have a Riesling wine and baby, that thing was, yeah. But I don't remember this one being not good, but let me go ahead and pour this. So that we can try it smells it, hmm. yeah it definitely doesn't smell like it would be sweet it didn't smell like it would be but yeah mm, you know I, I feel like I can taste the Riesling but is still not as bad as others that I've tried it still has that little bit of sweetness to it like I can I can sit down and drink this no problem if you like a more not so sweet this will be a good one for you to try for sure I will say this one has like that I don't really like wines that have that flat taste to it I don't know if that makes sense but you know like say if you had a sprite that's been sitting for long and like all the fizz is gone that you drink it and it just tastes kind of old that's what this one tastes like it's not bad but it just has that 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 taste to it and you know and before we get into the last tasting I do want to say one of my favorite things about this wine is that it is not no wimpy little five percent behind wine like no I don't even like to buy wine that is that low I think the red one yeah the red one is eight percent the one I just tried is 12.5% and this last one, this one here is 11.5%. So, you know, they got a little, they, they a little worth something. You know, I don't like to do that 5% wine. Mine gotta be at least eight or stronger. But this last bottle here, it is the Sweet Peach Mango Delight Cuvée. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, and I remember that this one was my favorite. This one is more of like a, has more of a champagne consistency to it. Um, and as you can see, the other ones were just a screw off top. This one has a cork that I'm gonna have to take off. But let me go ahead and do that off camera because this this all, this all part always makes me nervous. Chat, I don't know why, but I'll, Every time a cork is involved, I just feel like the thing is going to pop up in my face. It's going to take my fingers off with it. Like, my anxiety is just too bad for stuff like this. But let me just, um, nothing, nothing's even going to happen. But I'm just, I just, I just don't like it. I don't like taking out corks from the bottle. Okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. You know, I was a little scared, but it wasn't, oh. Oh, and it's fizzing. I thought it was finna fizz out. Um. But yeah, y'all can see, I probably can see, I already see the little champagne bubbles and whatnot. Oh, yeah, this one, mm, this one, yeah, mm-hmm. It just smells, from the start, it just smells like it's going to be good. Like, the other ones, it's kind of like, you don't know what you're going to get, but this one, you smell it, and you're like, yeah, this one finna be, this one finna be it. This is going to be hitting. Yeah, this one, yeah, mm-hmm. This is going to be my go-to bottle of wine. Like, I'm not even joking. So good. So good. And I also mentioned in my um, mini shopping vlog video that I keep referencing back to. So if you guys don't go watch that after this, I'm going to be a little disappointed. But in that video, I said how um, my cousin told my mom, was like, hey, you know, I found this black on wine in Sam's. You gotta tell your daughter to try it out. And it was this wine right here, the peach mango that she tried. And she was like, I drank the whole bottle 
in one night because it's just that good it's so good and you know i love a wine with that little bit of a little bit of fizz to it like i said they do have other flavored wines on their website if you guys want a part two and want me to try um some different flavors comment down below like this video let me know i'm already interested in trying one of their flavors it's the sparkling rose strawberry passion i saw that on their website and i was like okay this one sounds like it's gonna be really good so i'm already interested in trying um some more of their wines like i said if you guys want me to taste test those for you all like this video leave a comment head to your local sam's club see if you can pick up these bottles to try for yourself if you do try them out let me know what your experience is with them but that's all that i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next bike business review